Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well and enjoying your weekend so far. I'm recording this on Friday and it's the hottest day of the year so far. I'm enjoying the hot weather, I am. But in the UK, I don't know why, it just feels like, even though it's like 30, it feels like it's more than 30 and the humid humidity, it's not good. But you know what, I don't want to complain. I'm enjoying the weather. It's, no, it's not going to stay for like sunny or hot for too long. It's going to be end up raining and I'm pretty sure it's raining next week anyway. So yeah, so today we're going to be stuffing some saving challenges. Um, and I think I've got around like 80 or 90 pounds here. Some of it's leftover money, some of it's side hustle money. And that's going to go towards some of my saving challenges. I think I'm just going to be focusing on the mini, mini saving challenges, so it's just going to just be this black binder here. So let's get stuffing, and before we do that, let's count how much money we have. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 pounds. No five pound notes today. I didn't go to the bank, and for a small amount of change, I wasn't going to go to the bank. It's too much of a trip, especially on a hot day. Also, um, wanted to know how you guys are getting on. How are you doing with your saving challenges? I can see that lots of people are doing like the mini Mondays, the mini Tuesdays, they're having like the tiny mini binders. So yeah, how are you getting on with those um, challenges? I've seen like so many people doing it and as much as I love to do it, um, I'm not going to. Just because, I think what I already have is enough and I don't think I could record on a Monday because start of the week, it's busy with work, etc. And I realised I've got £15 here as well. So what I'm going to do is, this is going to so much towards my saving challenges as well. So I technically have £105 going towards my saving challenges. Isn't that bonus money? I forgot I had it here. Just because... I was putting it away just to remind myself not to spend that money essentially. I do have a bit of cheat sheet going on just so I know that with challenges I'm putting my money towards. So the sweet challenge, oh yeah the sweet challenge, this is by Budget with Abby Bernard, she's called I think Little Moon Budget. Um, what is this? It's the sweet sweet saving challenges, um, saving challenge. Do not know why I can't get my words out today. We had lots of um, issues with our IT system today, so to do with crowd strike, you must have seen it all over the news. Planes affected, businesses affected, banking, etc. So yeah, I'm starting this um, saving challenge again, and this will also go towards maybe fun stuff, maybe self care, um, maybe health. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to put ten pounds in here. I might put twenty pounds. I might just put £10 in here just for the time being and then um, if I have money left over then I'll just come back and stuff it in here. But I'm going to put £10 in here. Oh yeah, so I say with the mini um, saving challenges. It's like a nice concept. Um, I'm pretty sure Gillian started it anyway. Um, because with her like binder and then from there it's gone on. And it's evolved, well, it's pretty much stayed similar to Venus. I wouldn't say it's really evolved that much. It's it's just a mini Monday, but before it was a mini challenge. So I don't think it's evolved that much, if you get what I mean. But yeah, so this binder was made because of her. Well, I had the um, white one first, this creamy white one first. And I was using it as my mini um, binder, but my challenges were quite big for a mini binder, essentially. So... I restarted my binders up again and these are like mini challenges like £30 completing this and I know all together it says 180 but it's a little mark in one of these little cards off essentially. <clears throat> so that's £10 gone in here and £10 will be stuffed in here. So far I've got £20. £10 more needed and that's one little card of the sweets done. I'm not putting anything in, don't go breaking my heart. I'm going to scratch this off next month because this already has 50. It only needs about 50 pounds more 
for it to be completed I might come back to this I'm not 100% sure or if I have my well we're near the end of July near nearly the end so who knows I might make some a bit of side hustle money if so I can always come back and stuff this we'll see at the end as to what I plan to do keep growing we'll get 20 pounds that's gonna be four petals um, ticked off essentially coloured and so that means I've got 10 20 30 40 pounds saved and it does save 60 pounds so I'm doing good with this challenge and this goes towards like self-care and I do want to get my under eyes done essentially it's nothing like invasive like I don't know if that's the right one it's not like it's um, like micro-needing essentially, like PRP, so it's not been like plastic surgery, fillers, anything like that. Um, it's not that I think anything's wrong with that, I just don't think that suits my needs essentially. So we're going to put two tens here, so that's going to be 10, 20. I mean, it just has 40 pounds now. Like I said, it only needs 20 pounds more, and then another, another petal section is done essentially. Gold digger. So this has thirty pounds in it currently. Um, it needs thirty pounds more, and it will save sixty pounds essentially. So I've got thirty here, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to put in. I was planning to put in forty pounds, but I'm going to put thirty pounds in. So that's twenty, thirty. 40, 50, 60, so that's one gold digger completed. And I'll put this money towards um, my house, a little um, envelope essentially. So I'm just gonna color this in. You can always skip the bits that I'm coloring in, I don't really mind, but I like getting it done here. So remember, otherwise um, I tend to forget. Essentially, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, I haven't been looking at my rear view camera that much. So, yeah. What have you guys got plans for the weekend? My weekend's quite chilled. Just, just doing a bit of shopping. There's been lots of sales going on, so... That's what I've been doing. A bit of sale shopping, that's what I plan to do as well on the weekend and get some more skincare bits. So that's 60 pounds here saved again and I can essentially start this challenge again with another gold digger to be done essentially. By the end of it it saves 720, some of the money obviously has been deposited into my house savings. Before I get onto here I'm going to get my white binder and put the 60 pounds in here. So this way it stays here and once it reaches a certain, certain amount I'll go stuff it in the bank essentially. Okay, we leave that alone. Now let's get on to the next saving challenge. This one I haven't started just yet, the pumpkin ones. I might just leave that for the time being. Pumpkin spices, everything. Again, same with that. Here, save. I'm going to mark off two more and that'll be Actually, I might mark four, four off, so 20 pounds. So, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20. I saved 30 pounds and it's finished off in the month of July 2024, and that's 30 pounds. It was a quick, easy challenge. And again, it will go towards um, my house savings essentially. So. I think that's good. I'm just going to leave this binder out and I up this one. The white one. So this will get 10, 20. Actually, I'll just put the 20 pound here, 30. And it's going into the white binder. So where I've got 60 pounds in here. This will now have 
90 pounds. I'm recording this and I'm already quite hot. Um, so yeah, let's move you across. So the save challenge, I might put something else in here. Uh, the Christmas one, should I do the Christmas one? It's another £30 one, so I don't really celebrate Christmas, so the saving challenge is set itself doesn't really matter to me. As long as I'm saving, that's all I care about. That's This is from Planned Bed Your Repeat. So nice, small challenges. Um, I'm not putting anything here. Nothing here as well. Because I already have quite a lot of challenges that I need to get through. So I've got 10, 20, 20, 10, 20, 25 pounds left over. I don't really want to put any more here because I could put 10 pounds. Again, <clears throat> should I go doing one of these challenge? I don't have my one pound. It's always the case. But I need a second. Okay, let's get to it. Apologies. Probably did go silent there for a couple, about 10 20 seconds. Where should I do it? I think let's go here. That's four pounds. And what I might do is do another scratch off. Sometimes I like it being a surprise, and sometimes I don't. I'm gonna do this side. Oh, this is actually getting the whole 20. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Um, I wasn't expecting um, the whole <laughs> 25 to go there, but that's fine. Not the end of the world. So it's got 75 pounds at the moment. I'm just gonna do this quite nicely. I think next time, I'm gonna, what do you call it? I've got another challenge. Um, that's not in the little binder, but it's gonna be the white binder. So at least my video, I can name it, the title of it, stuffing my mini challenge binder essentially. That's a hundred and five pounds stuffed. I think next time it will be my crock bite and the white crock binder. I'm gonna be putting 25 pounds into the clouds one plan. And I'll be st stuffing majority of these challenges as well. Six. And maybe some of my personal binder. Um, I do hope, I'd, I roughly need about 210 pounds to stuff everything I want um, but I think that's gonna happen um, because there's only like a week and a bit left until July ends and August starts but yeah I hope you guys you have um, enjoyed this video if you have do leave a comment below until next time thank you for watching bye bye